Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about finding the area of irregular figures made up of squares and rectangles using square centimeters and square meters. What is an area? Area is the number of square units needed to cover the surface of a plane figure. What plane figure is this? All right, this is a square. Suppose that one side of this square is 4 meters. Find the area of this square. Okay, what is a formula how to find the area of the square? All right, the formula in finding the area of the square is side times side. So, our side here is 4 meters times 4 meters. 4 meters times 4 meters is equal to 16 meters squared. This is the area of this square. We can use also the other formula. Area is equal to side squared. So, our side is 4 meters. We are going to multiply it 2 times by itself. 4 times 4 is equal to 16 meters squared. So these are the two formulas that we can use on how to find the area of a square. Do you know what plane figure is this? Fantastic! This is a rectangle. Do you know the two dimensions of a rectangle? Alright, the two dimensions of a rectangle are the length and the width. Suppose that the length of this rectangle is 7 meters and the width is 5 meters. Calculate the area of this rectangle. What is the formula how to find the area of a rectangle? Alright, the formula in finding the area of a rectangle, area is equal to length times width. So, the length of this rectangle is 7 meters and the width is 5 meters. Then, let's multiply. 7 meters times 5 meters is equal to 35 square meters. So, this is the area of this rectangle. Since you know already how to find the area of a square and the area of a rectangle, then we're going to use this knowledge in finding the area of an irregular figures. How we're going to find the area of an irregular figures? To find the area of an irregular figures, you can separate it into figures with areas you know how to find. To understand how we're going to find the area of an irregular figure, then let's study this example. Find the area of this figure with the following dimensions, 4 meters and 8 meters. To find the area of this figure, we can separate this figure into parts. So, as we can see and observe, we can form two squares in this figure and one rectangle. So, we can get the area of two squares and the area of the rectangle. So, this means that the width of this rectangle is 2 meters and the side of this square is 4 meters. We level this as A, this is B, and this is C. To find the area of this irregular figure, we're going to find the area of A plus area of B plus the area of C. So let's solve. Area of A, which is in the shape of a square. So, we're going to use this formula in finding the area of a square, which is side times side. The side is 4 meters times 4 meters. So, let's multiply. 
4 times 4 is equal to 16 meters times meters is equal to square meters. Or we can write like this also. This is the area of figure A. Next is we're going to find the area of figure B. So our figure B is in a shape of a rectangle. So we're going to use this formula, length times width. The length is 8 meters and the width is 2 meters. So let's multiply 8 meters times 2 meters is equal to 16 square meters. So this is the area of figure B. Next is we're going to find the area of figure C. So figure C is in a shape of a square. Again, we're going to use this formula. Area is equal to side times side. The side of this square is 4 meters. So 4 meters times 4 meters. Let's multiply. 4 meters times 4 meters is equal to 16 square meters. To find the area of a regular figure, we're going to add all the areas from A to C. So we have 16 square meters plus 16 square meters plus 16 square meters is equal to 48 square meters. This is the area of this irregular figure. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.